Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick trade deadline recap on the Carolina Hurricanes. As we're going to talk about them acquiring Max Domi, the guy that adds some punch, and also when at his best, surrounded by the best, adds some good second line level scoring as well. Where obviously with the Carolina Hurricanes, he is in that very good situation once he comes back off of his uh, foot injury. Uh, he could be with. If you put him on the second line, he'd be with Nikas and Sveshikov, but obviously Vincent Trocek's played very well, but Vincent Trocek's someone that's going to go elsewhere next year, so maybe you'll try to slide him down, see how he fits into uh, that role, and then go from there, where Max Domi is also a UFA, but I do think the Hurricanes brought him in for one for this year, and the run that he will be able to do when he comes back, and the play that he can play at when he comes back, adding physical style to your team on a playoff run, but also adding very good scoring ability as well when you have the players he's going to be surrounded with in Carolina. But also, I think it's to have a fact that they re-signed Kakaniemi. They obviously have Jordan Stoll to the end of next season, uh, UFA after in 2023. So I think it's insurance as well. You have another guy if Trocek does leave, which is most likely imminent, just because you're going to have to pay him most likely around Sveshikov's salary with, with how good of a season he had. He's probably going to ask for at least around seven. So I don't know if the Hurricanes are going to want to be able to do that because that's going to then harp them in different spots. So I think this is a fantastic trade for this season, but also for the future because he's going to get a much cheaper contract than Vincent Trocek, in my opinion. And I think they took advantage of that as well, being able to get Max Domi they are able to get a guy that they can keep around past this year and actually afford in Carolina, which I don't think they would have been able to afford keeping around Vincent Trocek. And he's had a hell of a season in Columbus. He's just been more of an assist wizard because there's not the best guys other than the Jake Voraceks and Cylinders and a couple other cats of the world to, to set him up because that team's still developing into becoming the next Blue Jackets playoff team. And they have some good guys like Sheenikoff and others as well, but you got nine goals, 23 assists for 32 points in 53 games. That's pretty damn good. And again, uh, forget the stats. On top of that, Domi just plays solid um, when fully committed on both ends. He's got to round and pound anybody or stick up for his teammates. And also, um, he really just knows how to play a playoff style game he plays physically he plays running through guys and that's how sometimes he gets injuries because of block shots and are try to go through guys and he's only like 5'11 but he's a guy that really plays a style I think Kane's fans are going to love and particularly love for the postseason where when it comes to the prospects um the Florida Panthers acquired forward Igor Gorshkov from Carolina and a 2022 six round pick from Columbus to retain 25 percent of Domi's total contract um, that's good for the Panthers because obviously they want to keep bringing in more talent there. And uh, Igor Gorshkov has a chance to be a pretty solid player. Where Tyler Inam Inamoto, excuse me, that Carolina got, he's more of a guy that brings physical jam. That's what he played at, played with, I should say, at Wisconsin. And now he's, of course, going to be graduating for this year. This was his fifth year. He brings physical jam. Uh, Aiden Her Hershuk, um, he brings more. I think, offensive component going forward. He's only 19 years old, just played his first year at BC, and he's going to continue to develop. Uh, already had eight points in his freshman year, which doesn't sound like a lot, but for a freshman to build up from, uh, that that is a pretty good way to start, where, for example, for Inamoto, his best point season was nine. So he's a guy that is more going to bring you physical punch, maybe can develop into a third-line defenseman where the better prospect there, which makes sense because Columbus traded Domi, is going to Domi. And then when it comes to um, Florida, that just makes sense um, to get them involved because it, it fits with the cap. Because as I said, Carolina is very cap struck. So that's why I think getting Max Domi for them makes sense, not just for this year, but maybe being able to retain Max Domi, where I don't see them having a chance in heck to retain Trocek with how much I see him uh, getting paid. And, th and that's just the way it is. But this has been a quick video on the Carolina Hurricanes having a great deal to get Max Domi, who I think fits in perfectly. And also for Rob Brindamore's system, I do think Inamoto fits in better there, where he would have fit in with the old school Columbus torch style more than 
now, where having a guy that can add physical jam, trying to develop him with a guy like Brenda Moore, I think makes more sense. Um, so I think he fits in better there. And then Hershuck, I think, is going to fit in very well with Columbus years down the line as he continues to develop at BC. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please continue to subscribe down below. Up above on the Easy Dudes Widget to keep the channel growing to 215 or more by the end of March. Really appreciate your guys' love and support this far.